Welcome to the homework for Lesson 12. This is Module 3 of Grade 3. Please write your name first. And these are some of the forms you've seen many times with many other numbers, so you should be getting familiar by now. Find the value of each row, and then add the rows to find the total. We're using the distributive property to figure out nines. And it looks like we're going to try in this first example by splitting up we have six nines, right? So you could put nines in here. Wait a minute. Each one of these is a value of six. So these are sixes. Right? We have nine sixes. And so these are also sixes. So five sixes, that's a pretty easy count by. Same as six fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And then we have this left to figure out. And we can add it to that thirty. And thirty is a pretty easy number to add to. And that's you could look at this and think two sixes is twelve. And twelves are pretty easy to add to each other in your head. It's twenty-four. And you can see just looking at the digits, these are pretty easy to put together. It's going to be fifty-four. So here's how it comes out. Here's the 9. And instead of 9, we're making it 5 plus 4. Because that's the same, that makes it the same as 9 times 6. And then we're taking this 5 plus 4, and it's going to be 5 times 6 plus 4 times 6. So it's 5 sixes and 4 sixes instead of 9 sixes. And this 5 times 6 is 30. So this 4 times 6, we figured out above, 24, 30 plus 24, 54. So 9 times 6, 54. And that's just how all these kind of work out. 9 times 7, starting out with five sevens, right? That's one more seven than six sevens, 35. And then now here we have four sevens. Four sevens, right? These are 14s. Four sevens. And you can look at the digits for those and figure out that it's 28. And here's how you do it with the, uh, here's how you use the distributive property and here are you, how you write it with equations. So here's the 9. 9 is 5 plus 4. So that gives us 5 7s and 4 7s. So the 5 plus 7 here is the 35. And the 4 plus 7 here is the 28. And now you have to add those together. Well, you can see that the 8 and the 5, if you look at your 1's digits, that's 13. So we're going to have a 3 in the 1's place. And then we're going to have a, a 1, a 10, and a, we're going to have a 1, 1, 10. So that's a 1, a 2, and a 3. Add it together, 63, for how many 10's we have, that's 63. You could just, if you wanted to, you could add them vertically. And there's your 1, your 3, and your 2, adding up to 6. So each one of these is an 8, so we're doing 9 eighths. Five eighths is forty. We practiced that a lot recently. And this is four eighths. Four times eight. That's two sixteens. Which is two tens and a twelve. Thirty-two. And here's how it is using the distributive property of instead of pictures. 9 eighths is the same as 5 plus 4. Again, that's 5 eighths plus 4 times 8. 5 eighths is 40. 4 eighths is 
32. And we're adding to a multiple of 10. It's always pretty easy to do in your head, 72. Now each block now is a 9, so now we have 9 9s. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to write my answer in up here, 72. Do I have the others too? Nope, I forgot the 63 up here. <clears throat> So, nine nines. We start off with five nines. It's always easy to work with twos, fives, and tens whenever you can. So, the big, the biggest chunk we can take out of nine here is five, five. That's 45 because it's one more five than eight fives. And then this is four nines. And four nines is 36 because that's two eighteens. Or, you're looking at 16 from the two eights plus 10 plus 10. If you just look at the digits that way. Just a way to do it mentally that might help you. And now here we're looking at all the punctuation in the equations. Nine nines is the same as, right? That's nine nines is the same as five plus four. So that's five nines plus four nines, just like we did above. Five nines is 45, four nines is 36, and so 45 plus 36, that's going to be 81, right? If you have to do it vertically, five and six is 11, and then add all your tens. Four and three is seven, and one more is eight. Now the homework, page two. And this is a big match. I'm going to solve some of these and, uh, and then draw the big match up at the end. So nine fives, the easiest way to think of nine fives is it's almost ten fives, right? So it's ten fives minus one five. Ten fives is fifty. So 50 minus 5 is 45. And then you've matched that up to 9 fives, which is 9 times 5. 9 sixes is the same as 10 sixes minus 1 six. Right before, on the first page, we were adding to make 9s. Now we're subtracting to make 9s because 10 is really easy, and 9 is just a little bit less than 10. So if we have 10 sixes and we subtract a six, we'll have nine sixes, right? Well, 10 six, so that's 60 minus six. And if you know your parts of 10, you know you're going to end up with, if you're taking that away, you're going to have, you're going to, you know you're going to have five tens, but six and four, four is going to be left of that, that last 10. And remember, we're just going to figure these out and then we're going to go back and match them up. So 9 sevens is 10 sevens minus 1 seven. 10 sevens is 70. 70 minus 7 is 63. This is just one of the tricks to help you figure out 9s if you don't remember them. 9 eights is 10 eights. That's 80. 80 minus 8, 72. Because 8 and 2 make 10. That's the last 10. And then nine nines is the same as ten nines minus a nine. Ten nines is ninety. One nine is nine. So that's eighty-one. And then we have nine fours. Nine fours is ten fours minus a four, right? It's one less than ten fours. So that's ten fours is forty minus one four, which is minus four. So forty minus four, thirty-six. And now what we'll do is I'll zoom out and we'll figure out where all of these match up. So here we have 63. 63. That was this one here. That was nine sevens. So that's nine times seven. 
And this 54, which one was 54? This one here, that was 9 sixes. So which one is 9 times 6? There. And then we have the 81. This was the 81, that was 9 9. So that's 9 times 9 there. And then the 72. Here's the 72. And that's 9 eighths. So we need 9 times 8. And then means 36 is 9 times 4. And then we're all done.